Hey, Pickers, Mighty Mike, Picker Weeds Vintage. So we had a really good day so far. Just got back from running to the post office second time today. And we had a huge score of vintage artwork at the thrift. And that was already on top of a bigger score in the back here of some very, very desirable glass. And we're going to show you all that we got on this latest haul video. Got some really nice glass and I think Kay's going to be happy. Uh, wait till you see what we got. Even some Backstreet Boys, a laminated pass into the Millennium Tour for a dollar. But the glass, I'm extremely excited about. A huge 41 piece set. I think it might be peanut butter glass from the 1960s, but we're gonna have to look it up. But this artwork, we got I think 34, 35 pieces. There are some really good the expressions on their faces. Wow. The family portrait. Some really good pieces in here. Some old. Pieces. And this is a glass. Look at that one. The Titanic. White Star Line, the world's largest liner. Southampton, New York. It's got a really heavy frame. I think that is one that will do well, but yeah, we just got a bunch of artwork. They had an influx of it. And he wanted to take me down after I did my quick sweep. <laughs> we got a lot here. So We'll have to go through and show you. Oh, this was a really interesting piece. Let me come over here. Got some Asian artwork as well. This is kind of neat. And here is Jesus on the cross. Looks like it might be paint by number. Here's a wine. A whole bunch of wines there. Just some really, really neat stuff. This is a neat one for the hockey fan. And this, this feels like it's magnetic. side you have the two conferences oh yeah and these are magnets I see that's cool oh that is a neat piece so as you can see we have a lot to go through a lot to unpack it's time to weed it's time to cut the grass time to trim the bushes the shrubs I mean, everything's growing right now, this time of year, in the garden. <laughs> wow, look at the bee balm. Holy smokers. And it's time to pick raspberries. Woohoo! So sweet, so, so sweet, but it's full and uh, raspberries are so easy to grow. Nice, delicious snack. Tasty. Look at our 
Sunflowers. They're getting taller. I got a weed. Put our hummingbird feeder up. Love the bee balm. That's a natural hummingbird feeder attract attract a tractor <laughs> not like a tractor you drive but what i'm trying to communicate is hummingbirds are attracted to flowers like the bee balm they like bright colors like red and these are just beautiful and they really fill in a spot look at that see how they fill in the garden it's nice when you put just one kind one variety and they all stand so tall and majestic so glad you joined us on this edition of pig and weeds vintage it's not even july yet but yet we have our first day lily of the season look at that one that's beautiful these are all gonna be flowers day lilies are incredibly hardy and if you're a beginner gardener these are fantastic for the garden because they're hard to kill and they're just very hardy and you can divide them if you go back and look at our video on dividing perennials we'll do one on dividing daylilies but they're a lot of fun and it's always great to see the first one pop of the season as the sun is coming out Some really nice pieces here. It's heavy glass. Love the camels. Reminds me of the three wise men. You got winter, spring, autumn. No, summer comes after spring, mighty Mike. And then you got autumn. some Asian artwork pieces. I got the rest inside. We'll have to go over them. I think we're going to do really well. All right, grass is cut. Hey, Ollie. And hi, Shmoo. I'm showered. Kay's home. We're going to do a haul video. Oh, look. This one's almost ready to come out. We saw this guy earlier. I just love this bee balm. It is so beautiful. And when the afternoon sun was hitting it, it looked amazing. Now's the time to do photography in your garden. If you love summer flowers like I do, go out there in the morning. Go out there when the sun is later in the day and you get some really cool looking photography. Look at that. They almost look like they glow. This is the echinacea or cone flower. That is gorgeous. We got our hummingbird feeder up here. And there's an Ollie back there. Hi, Ollie. That feels great. Then we also pick some raspberries. Can't wait for these to bloom, the sunflowers. The raspberries are coming in now. Look at them. Looking good. And I was munching on them while well, I was cutting the grass, so that was very nice. All right, let's show Kay. This is kind of your first time, like we're coming home and uh, coming back from the thrift store. She's home from work 
and we're going to show her our haul and we're going to capture her reaction. <laughs> Can't wait for that. We need some hummingbirds. Hi, Kay. Hi. How are you? Good. Are you ready? Looks like you got a lot of stuff. I know, <laughs> two boxes. boxes. What, you already sold the artwork. What did you think of the artwork? Artwork's nice. Yeah. So let's go through and let's check out glasses. Come on, Ollie. All right, so we got two boxes and it's mostly glass. So, yeah, you're excited. <laughs> well, we gotta start with the Backstreet Boys. Oh my goodness. Backstreet. Oh, that's cool. For a buck. And it's from one of their tours, signed by all the members. There you go. Of course, it's uh, auto print. What do they call that? Auto pen? Yeah. But it's still cool for a dollar. And I know that the elephant, uh, whatchamacallit, is in here. So let's just take them one at a time, the salt and pepper shakers. So when you're driving down I-95, who do you see? Oh, he's cute. <laughs> Pedro. He's cute, he's a bank. South of the border, oh, cool. He's got the stopper in. Can I see it? I know he's made in China, but you know what? For 75 cents, how many people are taking a road trip this summer? You know? Pedro says, stop in. Have you ever gone down no, there? No, I have. I, have. Oh, yeah, I think I've seen, I've seen yeah, like the... If uh, you drive south. The billboards, but I've never actually stopped. Yep. Okay. Cute. We got a lot of glass. Oh, I think I actually have... I think I have another one of these. I think this will be a pair. Big Wrangler. And what's that from, babe? That's like, I honestly, I don't know. Okay. Dr. Pepper. I know it's a little That's faded, cool. but how many times do you see Dr. Pepper stuff? Vintage Very Dr. Rarely. Pepper. Let me see. So what's your educated guess? What did it have the date on it? Year wise? I don't know. Are they from the 70s? Are they Arby's? It doesn't say. It doesn't say. That was just a colorful glass. That's cool. You know? Oh, yeah. That's neat. Oh, they're cute. They're so cute. Happy elephants. <laughs> The salt and pepper shaker. They're cool. I like those a lot. I've never seen that set before. He has a little. Oh, I didn't even see that. One is here. I can always take him to the flea. They're cute. That has some. Do you think that'll clean up? I think that should clean up, yeah. That's cute. Yoda, look, use the force, Jedi Knight. Smart man is he. <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> I like it. And these are these three mugs I was telling you about. They kind of do an artwork if you do. Oh, that's See pretty. that? Now watch. They kind of line them up. See that? They're nice. And these are, uh, are they calla lilies? Calla lilies? I think so. Some kind of lily? Okay. 
Okay, so that's the first box. I'm impressed with your glasses. That's cool. I've never seen that's Arby's. Charlie Chaplin. It's in nice shape. No scratches. Show the other side. Oh yeah, Arby's Collector Series, take one of six. That's the one that they didn't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't... That's not the same guy, right? It's not the same... Uh... Pedro? Mm -mm. South of the border guy? I don't think so. It looks like him though, maybe. No manufacturer's marker. Mm -mm. We'll have to look him up. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna show just a quick little trick. We follow um, a lot of groups on Facebook where people post um, items that they find and a lot of times people ask for identification on items. Um, I'm just gonna show a quick little trick that I can even do in, a st in the store um if i'm not really sure what something is so if you have your phone and you have the google um app that's this guy right here at the top and if you open that up in the search bar there's a camera icon oops and if you click on the camera icon, it comes out and says search with your camera. And you click on that, and then you can just take a quick shot. It doesn't have to be perfect. And this one actually did find Oh wow. Vintage Pancho, Poncho, P A N C H O Mexican restaurant. That's cool. Yeah. So that kind of just gives you a little starting um, I can't see sorry starting point start out your research yeah that's and sometimes cool. it'll even pull up eBay listings like current eBay listings um, it's like what's he going for now so you can kind of get an idea here's one listed I mean these are listing prices not sold prices um, somebody has it listed on Etsy for 17 somebody has it listed on eBay for 20 um here's one of mercari for 26 so it just kind of gives you a ballpark so and we paid you know two two dollars is a two dollars a good price good one so. okay so the first part pretty good very good pretty good I'm haul excited. all right let's go to the good stuff now <laughs> the good stuff i thought this was the good stuff <laughs> it's all good stuff <laughs> All right, so I don't know what these are. They're not sour cream glasses. They're a little bit smaller, and you think they might be peanut butter glasses. So here's the first one, and here's the style of the glass. So take a look. What do you think? Hmm. That's not that's not what I pictured over the phone when you told me what you got. Peanut butter glasses, I think of as like a little straighter. Yes. A little taller, thin. So that's different. Dave thought 60s. But you can see. The, bra the brown, I mean, that's not something that you see very often. The brown makes me think probably 60s, early 70s. But what were they? Like, a, like a kid glasses? Kids? Do you want me to do a no. search? Yeah. Look. Okay. I came up with a couple different things. Craft. Swanky swig. 
juice glass? I don't know. I mean, yeah, I guess it could be juice glasses. Here, vintage. This is on Etsy. Etsy. This is their Etsy uh, description. So I guess you just take it. Vintage funky swig, 1950s era juice glass with crown antique items design. One available for $6.95. This person has 12,231 perfect reviews. So I. I trust, I trust that description. Hold up again. Swanky Swig. Is that like a name brand or is that just a... So these were a dollar a piece. There's 41 of them. And we could probably sell them in sets. Yeah, I think I'll definitely do uh, sets R R by Raggy. color, you think? Is that when I, when I put the one and fell down on it? Whatever, that just chipped now. I don't think it was chipped before. Oh, yeah. That's Remember the, the glass uh, fell, huh? I guess that was... That's okay. I'll keep so we have an even 40. Oh, you do. I want to, like, put them by color, but then look at, like, the blue and the yellow together. They have, like, the same... I don't know. The same hue? I'm going to sneeze. Looks like we got a lot of brown. Flush it. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I love these. Are they going to be fun to post? They're swanky. <laughs> <laughs> so, all together, we spent 49 on just the glasses and stuff, and then 20 on the artwork. And you saw the artwork. You were really impressed with that, too. You thought we did pretty good in that. There's some really nice, really nice artwork. So, this is definitely good for the eBay store. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> so would you say we did pretty well? I think I'm impressed. Yes. And these will be fun to post this weekend. They're actually cool looking. Kind of has a little PA Dutch flair on it, doesn't they it? They do. I was thinking that. Yeah, too. yeah. Alright, so I'm Mighty Mike. I'm Kay. Thank you so much for watching this haul video and thank you so much for the support. Again, we want to do a shout out to all of our new subscribers. We couldn't do it without you. <laughs> Happy picking, everybody. Thanks for watching. I always have to edit that. <laughs>